Hello everyone and welcome to the subject and field searching assignment overview. In today's assignment, we're going to be looking at some special types of searching that you can do in library databases that you cannot do in search engines. This has to do with the way databases are organized. If you think back to introduction to databases, we talked about how databases are organized using records and fields. Field searching allows you to search one or more specific fields in order to better get results that you're looking for. There are multiple different fields and the ways you use them will differ depending on what your goal is. In today's assignment, we are going to look at the two most common sorts of field searching. The first one is subject searching. Subjects are a thing called controlled vocabulary. That means that in the databases, a single unifying term links together all sources on that same topic. Think of it like a hashtag, but instead of everyone making their own hashtag, it's a standard one produced by information professionals. Normally you use these in order to get a narrower focus or to specify which word you want in case it has multiple meanings. You also normally start with a keyword search and then move into a subject search. The reason you have to take this two-step process is that the subject terms between databases are not the same. The library catalog may have different subjects than Academic Search Complete, which may have different subjects than Research Library ProQuest. We'll also look at a type of field searching where you can find a specific source. This is using the article and title fields. This type of searching is helpful if someone recommends a resource to you or if you're reading a bibliography and want to find an article or book that someone else has cited. For part one, we're going to do subject searching, but we're actually going to start off with making a keyword search. Again, this is because depending on which database you use, your subjects may be different. Everyone this time has the same scenario. You're researching the connection between video games and education. After some initial searching, you determine that learning was a synonym for education and you also want to include that. Your articles that you find have to be full text, scholarly journals, published in the past five years in English. For step one, list the keywords from your scenario. This is a little bit different than our previous two assignments where you got to pick keywords from list of keywords. So when you're reading through the scenario, think of which of those words are the most important ideas. The ones that you want your sources to talk about are going to be your keywords. Then use those keywords to construct a search phrase. You can use any tools needed to make the most effective search phrase. So this time, instead of me telling you how many Boolean operators that you have to use nesting, etc., use whichever of those tools you think are needed to get the best search possible. Then use that search phrase to search either Academic Search Complete or Research Library ProQuest. You can pick which database you use for this assignment. You are going to list your number of results. Then, from your results, choose one scholarly article that seems relevant and cite it. We're going to use this article to help with step five, where you identify subject terms. Put all the subjects from your article here and then highlight the ones that are similar or identical. Then redo your search with subjects. That means you're going to substitute one or more of your keywords with one of the subjects you've identified. I know this is kind of a complicated process. I do have a demonstration video for you. Once you redo your search, list both the number of results from your subject search and how the results changed. Did they increase or go up or did they decrease and go down? Finally, reflect on the observations that you've made. 
think about how you could apply what you've observed to further searches. Based on what you observe, could you narrow your results further after your second search? If yes, how might you do so? And why might you do so? For part two, we're going to do a field search where you look for a particular book. You only remember part of the title and part of the author name. So we're going to need to use two fields this time. And we know that it's a physical copy, meaning that it's a print book. So we are going to search the library catalog. Once we find the book, you're going to note down some information to cite and locate the book, including the call number, the location in the library, author, title, publisher, and publication date. In step two, you're going to cite the book that you found. Unlike the article databases, most books in the library don't have a pre-made citation. So we've spent a while gathering citation pieces. Now we're going to actually practice putting them into a citation. I do have a demo of this on our course Moodle page, but I also have a template that you can follow. I hope that you find this video helpful as you complete today's assignment. If you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. I'm always more than happy to help. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.